It is Shady's Babies, and welcome to my early Dawnbreaker guide. Um, the patch just dropped. It's 4 15, 2021 today. And let's just jump right into it. So, I was inspired to make this guide by Immortal Faith, actually, who I kind of don't like because his builds are just in general, and that's how his first starting build was. Um, but then he released a new one, I think today, actually, with Solar Crest. Real smart thing. Real, I really appreciate it. He had a really, really good catch on this item. So let's jump right into it. So starting items, you're going to go, I like double tango. You can go tango salve. Um, actually, I don't know if you can go tango salve. I don't think you can. Um, but you could ship one out real quick. Um, but you will probably need at least one salve and maybe a clarity at some point just to keep you alive in the lane surviving. Regardless, double tango. Falling Blade and two Gauntlets of Strength. Um, his build said two Iron Branches. I'm not really a fan of it. I like the 12 uh, damage for last hitting creeps. It helps a lot. And then if you need to leave the lane to go jungle or something, you have that in your back pocket, you know, to hit stuff, to hit creeps. You do need Soul Ring um, just for the extra. She doesn't have a lot of mana, so that's very key. And she regens a fair amount with Luminosity, so... Then Phase and Orb of Corrosion, you can go either one in any order. I will personally typically go Orb of Corrosion first um, because you have a lot of movement speed with Celestial Hammer. Um, let me actually swap those positions. And uh, I was going to add that there. Okay, let me republish that. Um, so go Orb of Corrosion first. You can go Phase Boots if you're having a rough lane and people are like running you down. Um, I just played a pretty rough game against Lifestealer. I'll probably show off the last two games I played uh, using this build. Um, but So then you want to get Armlet. Armlet is really cheap. It's a lot of damage. Um, it adds 35 damage, bringing you up to 50 damage, 25 attack speed, 25 strength, and 10 armor when you have it activated, which is like insane. It combos really good with Luminosity. The rest of the items are up to you. Um, I just threw these on because sometimes you need more of a tank. Sometimes you need, you know, team players. This build is not very team player-like, except you're going to be in the front taking a lot of damage, and you're going to be able to handle it. Like, if you if you keep Solar Crest off, that's a ton of armor. Six armor and five all stats. Pretty good. And the mana regen will help a lot. Um... I think I might try at some point just going straight Solar Crest rather than Soul Ring, but it combos really good, so I usually just get both. Heart is really nice with the Armlet because you can just leave Heart on or leave the Armlet on. And then Black King Bar and, uh, is pretty key. BKB or Death so if you want more damage. Um, but there's a really nice combo with Luminosity and Starbreaker that I'll get into. Um, so more damage is probably what you'll prefer. Not a lot of items in this that you need. And there's not really a big need for versatility. This is pretty straight up, pretty strong build. Um, and her, this here is so easy. Like, I don't even understand. But So, Starbreaker is what you're going to max. Um, Mortal Faith wanted to max Celestial Hammer. And I guess the main goal for him was the cast range. And you can catch some people, but um, that's like if you're sort of like a roamer almost. Not, not necessarily a roamer, but um, you are the catch, the initiator. And it's so early on, you can catch people pretty easy if you max this. But I like to max Starbreaker because it's cost 30 less mana. You get both of them will give you more damage um, and cooldown reduction. But this one will increase your stun duration, which is why I like it. If this, if the burning lasted longer in Celestial Hammer, I'd probably go with Celestial Hammer. But if you're having a rough lane, you can go max Starbreaker and Luminosity and just get one in Celestial Hammer. The movement speed is pretty nice. Um, for the guides, uh, for the talents, I would go all on the right, all the damage stuff. Um, I, You can go the 20 second Solar Guardian cooldown, but honestly, the 20 damage is pretty insane uh, for Luminosity. It really heals you a lot and you'll just be beasting. Uh, let me hop in a little demo real quick. And show you guys the little combo I was talking about. <clears throat> so, with her, if I. Let me just pull the max. With her uh, luminosity, 
You can combo with Starbreaker by getting one stack that. first. See, with one stack, and let me get a dummy target out here. I've waited millennia to stretch my legs. I have those stats on the dummy target. Anyhow, um, so if I have... Let me actually get rid of my stacks real quick. Here, I'll just spawn an enemy. Okay. So, if I just go normally, if I just do a normal star break, like one, three, and then a right click, that's 1,075 damage. Now, if I get one stack before... Let me just go one stack on this guy. If you start with one stack, that was 1,075 damage. Almost 100 more damage. Granted, I am level 30. If you if you start with the one stack, on that final Starbreaker swing, you're going to have 115 bonus damage that's going to be used to crit. So if you want to do quite a bit more damage, um, that's, that's almost like 10% more damage. A little less. Uh, which is quite a lot. Then start with one thing before you get into Starbreaker. The wants to go um, this way. And if you have Orb of Corrosion, and uh, here, let me look at the max. So if you're if you're setting up for a combo, what is this guy doing? It doesn't. It's not too important that you have it, but it's kind of nice. Like if you have one stack of this and you ult in somewhere. I'll move the gun. Um, but at any point during the combo, you can put this on, and with armlet, you can activate armlet too. One I will put um, to good use. So if I just start comboing, you can see there I just activated it in the middle. I respect um, trees as obstacles for their well-being. So that's a pretty good thing. Pretty good like combo right there. If you get orb of corrosion, I wonder if I can get Traverse this set up so I can. Look how slow it is. 238. 238 movement speed from... Let me see what his base one. The Solar Crest slows by a lot. 10%. Base is 310. It's really hard to move out of the way, especially when you're getting a combo. Um, so that's what I would get with those. Phase Boots is pretty nice. Initially, Immortal Faith... One thing I was that didn't make sense to me was Immortal Faith took Power Treads was his main thing. And it doesn't make any sense because, sure, you'll get the Luminosity stack quicker, but it's not going to do more damage. And the more damage you do, the more healing you get. So, if you have Phase Boots, it's pretty good. Your middle tower um, is under attack. I would get a hard BKB. This is a pretty good build right here. You can replace the Orb of Corrosion with Basher if they have, like, BKBs, or Deso if you want to just style and supports. Um, if you haven't played Dawnbreaker, your combo is you throw this out, pull back and then you start hitting them Good day to because this slows so that's just a quick thing but you can actually uh, moves behind us. Enemy if you combo that killing. here let me see if I can 130 movement I speed if you get the full all the slows going so it's pretty hard to dodge her but um, that's pretty much all I have for the build uh, I'll drop a link in the description. I just played two games with it, and there's a bunch of L's on my profile, so I'm just going to handle the embarrassment. Um, so here's a game, the first game I did when I tried it, and um, almost had the most damage. The Slark was pretty confident. We had a Slark mid, um, but it worked out pretty good, and... Um, the heal is pretty good. I have almost the same amount of healing as of Vlad's. So the healing's really nice. The other team didn't have any healing. And I had the most farm, actually. I had the most kill participation and the most last hits. Well, actually, Luna had the most last hits, but that's expected. Um, but I had the most net worth. Um, and on my other game that I just played not too long ago, I wanted to make sure it actually worked, so I played another one. Um... I had I actually got death at the end, but I didn't really get to use it. I had the most damage by far, 45k damage. Um, Spectre had 42, and that's like a Spectre. Spectre's supposed to have insane amounts of damage, so that's with 9k damage uh, to buildings and 6k healing for the team, also. So your combos are really good. Um, really hope you guys like this build. 
that's all I got for you guys. So uh, if you like it, you can subscribe to it in the description. And I'm probably going to be updating it um, quite a bit as she like changes and stuff. Um, if you want some more hero guides, I can drop one, drop a name in the comment for a hero, and I'll get one. I have some pretty old, outdated Each ones that I might have to, uh, yeah, like, look at that, 55.8, this is so old, oh, like, even Courier's still on it, but, anyhow, enough ranting, thanks for watching, have a good day.